coaching legend has returned to the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague this season with the appointment of Dusan Ivkovic at Anadolu FS Istanbul, a move which takes the veteran coaching icon back to the same city where he won the EuroLeague final with Olympiakos in 2012. Even for a basketball lifer like coach Ivkovic, that particular night was memorable. It was a great moment, like many, many moments in my coaching. That glow is for the moment, and for me, the most important, everything what happened before. That, let's say, that moment when somebody is, uh, let's say, in a big emotion, that moment became, I think, players and the fans all together. Ivkovic turns 71 this month and now coaching for nearly 40 years after following in the footsteps of his older brother Slobodan. Basketball, he says, is his life. My player brother was great, great coach. And in the beginning, when I start, uh, I start to help them to be, let's say, into the his stuff, not exactly like assistant coach. But after that, I became and coach, assistant coach, that it means uh, it's my life. The whole life we are, or my family, in basketball, and before and now. Despite having his brother as a coaching role model, Ivkovic admits that when his coaching career first started, he was more interested in studying players than the methods of other coaches. To be honest, like the young coach, I never saw what the coaches, how they organize the practice. I was looking always players, older players, the best players, how to teach, to take, to steal something of them, never coaches. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Although he has only been with Anadolu Efes for a short space of time, it's no surprise to learn that he has clear ideas about how he wants to build another title-winning team. For the Vasquez, this is at the beginning, always what I like to do, it is to give information and how the people receive that information. It is, uh, I think, today a lot of problems, a lot of problems. And after that, immediately is the next part, the next stage is, is communication, communication with the players, and after that, the next part, uh, let's say, or reading the situation until, let's say, like I can like I look at you, players need to understand, it needs time. Now that he's back on the court, Ivkovic will have less time to enjoy his hobby of pigeon racing, a pastime which he's happy to speak about in far less modest terms than his achievements in basketball. At the moment, I'm looking maybe how to, to, to bring them here, and uh, if I do something I like to do, I have really very good pigeons, I can say my, my pigeons is the best in the world. I don't I, I never said that for my players. It is maybe my difference. <laughs>